here in Norway in uh, my office for today, which is my beautiful friend's has and uh, Kirsty's home. Anyway, I'm just chiming in because many of you have asked me about how am I shooting Crazy Dreamers and I wanted to share that with you because uh, it has taken me quite a while to work out the equipment and because I'm traveling for six months, I needed to travel really light. So I travel with two iPhones. The one that I'm shooting this on now is an iPhone X. Highly recommend that. And I also travel with my older iPhone, which is I think a six and a half, six point me to do b-roll footage so that I can shoot uh, the same you know people at the same time and do close-ups while the other camera does the longer shots then there are a few other items that I have in my toolbox so I need two tripods for my iPhones then I have my lights now the lights I'm using are these ones here which are LED lights made by Yong, Yong Nu and I got those just off Amazon they run with uh, this battery here that's a chargeable battery. One word of advice, if you're traveling with these batteries, you must put those in your hand luggage. You're not actually not allowed to put those in your check-in luggage. Uh, the other thing too that I travel with uh, is my gimbal and this allows me to do all those walking shots. And I'm using the Gimbal Smooth Q. It was one of the most cheapest ones on the market and it does what I need to do very well. And then I also just use a selfie stick because I often get very, very lazy. With the sound, I've tried a few things now, but what I found to be the easiest is I just use these Rode microphones, which are lapel mics. Uh, and so that's these ones here with very, very long extension cords here that they plug straight into the iPhone. And, uh, you know, when I'm in a windy situation, I just pop off the end of this microphone and then I plug onto that. Where is it? It seems to have disappeared, but it's my little fur ball. Oh, here it is here. I put this on. This is amazing for reducing any wind that might be around. So I've been doing a lot of outdoor interviews. And with the iPhone X, you will need this Rode splitter. It allows you to plug in uh, up to three different microphones. Uh, the other thing that I use, you can see I've got my Apple AirPod uh, earphone earplugs in, and these are all wireless. They work on Bluetooth. I was a little bit I was a little bit suspicious about paying all this money for these, but they are brilliant. So I've used them outdoors too in fairly noisy situations where I'm feeling lazy and I don't want to plug in my road. So that I can highly recommend. And the other piece that I travel with is this Manfretto light. Now, this is a light. They're not cheap. Uh, they also use the uh, battery. But they are brilliant, particularly when I've been in a dark room and the two other lights weren't just quite enough. These mount directly onto your iPhone as well uh, and they're used more for like a reflective light. So you can't really shine them onto a person's face. It's just far too bright. But you can use them, you know, tilted up or on an, on an angle and that just gives you a nice filler light. So that's pretty much uh, what I'm traveling with because as I said, it's nice, it's not too heavy really. It's very adaptable and in a lot of cases like I am now, I use natural light as you can see, you know, you've got the light from this window. So if you need any further information, just hit me up. Happy to share that with you. And again, thank you everybody for asking the question. Thank you for watching the show. Uh, we are going to now be going to a fortnightly uh, show, so we won't have one this Saturday, but we will have one next Saturday. Uh, until next time, talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Crazy dream.